Good morning. Welcome to the 2016 Dallas Cowboys Cheerleaders Audition. How many of you guys are nervous? All of you. You all represent 31 states and we have international candidates this year from Canada, Taiwan, and Japan. I'm Ryuko. I'm 23 years old. I came all the way from Japan. Go Cowboys! So, in Japan, I've cheered for professional basketball, soccer, and baseball teams. I also have school, and I have part-time jobs in the evenings. <laughs> I sometimes feel a little lonely and a bit of sadness because I've been working so hard just to become a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. I do hope that all these energies will make my dream come true. Let's go to another continent, <laughs> shall we? 218. Yuko, strong. She was prepared. She was a clean, technical dancer. And the only thing usually that knocks them out is if they can't learn choreography. We'll find out. Yeah. You coat. I thought she was effortless and it I wasn't was, stressful yeah, to watch. Yeah, it was delightful because it looked like someone actually did their homework and enjoyed what they were doing. Thank you for your patience today. We're going to start calling the names and numbers of those of you that are invited into this season's 2016 finals. From Osaka, Japan, Yuko. Most people are going to speak English to you. Do you understand English well? Yes, I always try to understand. Yeah. But sometimes uh, difficult for me. Sure. But every time I ask again, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please ask me again. I always say. I try to understand. Yes, I keep trying. I loved Yuko, and I don't know, there's something special about her. Some of my favorite rookie solos included Yuko. She was very entertaining. She was adorable to watch. She really came on strong. Konnichiwa. Hi, everyone. I'm Yuko. From Osaka, Japan, Yuko. She was like a little package of dynamite. She, she did. was yeah. dynamite. She's got a real spunky attitude, you can tell. It was good. It wasn't great. Really? I think she's really cute and spunky, but I just, I just didn't see her as a shoe in, but. A lot of these young ladies have done everything they can to make themselves perfect and be the total package. And for some of them, they're gonna be disappointed. Thank you for your patience. This was a very competitive and very talented group. So congratulations for being in this room. Here we go, are you guys ready? Number 18 from Osaka, Japan, Yuko. What? I did it! <laughs> Konnichiwa! <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Yuko. If you want to know Japanese, please let me know. <laughs> Yuko, are you understanding everything I say? Or some of what I say? I don't understand, so later I contact to my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, guide with your line. I don't think Yuko understands guide. <laughs> Yuko, you're missing details. Just really get with somebody and get all the details down. Yuko is going to be a challenge. She's not understanding a lot that we're telling her. I'm not sold on Yuko yet. I think that sometimes your feet are just real floppy. Like this, pull and pull. Release back, your back, back. Yuko. Back. Don't arch and arch. Arch and arch. Yeah. Your feet are real messy. They're not in the exact spot. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Tonight is so important for DCC. We have to dance perfect. I'm so nervous, but I'm focused. Yuko, you don't seem to be as fun tonight as I know you can be. It's a little scary for Yuko's future because I saw a part of Yuko that I've never seen before yet. Is she running out of steam? 
you go. Your feet are real sloppy. It's starting to get messy. I do need to see in my office, Yuko and Kelsey. And everybody else is dismissed, and we will see you tomorrow. OK, good work tonight. Yuko? Every time I hope, please don't call my name. Please don't call me my name. So I'm so scared. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Good. Oh, thank you. Was tonight more challenging for you? Uh, tonight combo is so difficult for me. My my first experience, like uh, hard hip hop, that is so difficult. But then when you did the palm dance, I don't think you performed it as well as you normally do. Yes, I need more powerful and hitting and more sexy, I, I think. Okay. What's the status on the visa? I hope this week I will get document from them. And then you'll, U.S. Immigration will say yes or no, and then you travel back to Japan. Yes. Maybe I miss practice for right. days. Okay. That's a tough journey. I'm impressed with how. Oh how much you're going through. It's a lot for a young lady to do alone. <laughs> I know it's a lot of pressure, right? <sighs> you have um, always been very fun to watch, and I want to encourage you to try to not worry about that. You've done everything you can and be fun to watch. Thank you. I had to clean it up. <laughs> and, um, you know, I guess just believe everybody's on your side. Thank you. Okay, and we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Thank Good night. You. I was so happy because Kelly know about how do I feel. That is, I was so happy. I am making a house call today. I am here to see Yuko because I was talking to Kelly and apparently Yuko has lost that howdy that she had at auditions. And so I'm here to help her get it back because if she doesn't, she's gonna get cut. Yugo actually lives with my friend, Natalie Wood Stanier, who I cheered with nearly 10 years ago now. Well, I wanted to come over and talk to you about a few things. I have brought an interpreter. This is an important conversation, so I wanna make sure that we know exactly what's being said. I was talking to Kelly the other day, and they're starting to get a little worried because they can tell you're getting overwhelmed. And that magnificent sparkle that you had at the beginning of this process has started to fade. Are you happy here? No. Japan, I was like, well, first of all, the language barrier, it's really hard. Even though everyone's trying to help me, but still, she feels kind of isolated, homesick. You just feel lonely in this process. Not only is she going through training camp with these girls, learning the 50 routines that they all are, she has no friends. She has no family. No. She can't communicate with anybody here. It's almost like she's living in a little box. And I can't imagine how overwhelmed she is. I can't imagine how lonely she is. That makes me sad. Mm. It's tough. It's tough. <laughs> I have heard from Kelly and Judy that you are just having a horrendous time trying to get this visa. The visa issue, uh, that really frustrating. I want you to be able to talk to somebody about this visa stress that I can't really relate to. So I have brought with me somebody that you know very well, somebody that has had to get a visa herself and dealt with the stress. <laughs> Y 
Nico's in my group with Jenna, so I think that it's, you know, it's my responsibility just to really be there for her. And more than that, I really want to be there for her because I want you to make this team. She's amazing. I know there's obviously very different communication barriers that you experience that I didn't experience, but in terms of moving to another country and not knowing anyone, not having your family or your friends, like I know exactly how you feel. And I can tell you that once you get past this huge hurdle, it gets better. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I want, if, if this is something that you still really want, I want to help you bring, bring that sparkle back out and, and make this team, because I think you're really, really close. Now, let's forget about everything else that is stressing us out, and let's go dance, and let's have fun. Yay! <laughs> Know who this Yuko is, honestly. Like, we were just crying and having this moment in the kitchen, and now she is rocking it. Her friend! And if she does what she did today, there's no way Kelly and Judy can cut her. Yuko's not here tonight. She had to return to Japan to finalize her visa. She is missing some critical material. If she misses more than a couple nights, there is a risk that she won't make this team. Tonight was pretty, pretty tough, and um, it's been taxing, and we recognize that. Tomorrow night, it's going to be very important because tomorrow night is the first night you all will be rehearsing as a team. <laughs> Simone, we've also lost Yuko. She's still waiting on her final approvals of her visa, and she can't dance until then. To be a DCC is my longtime dream. I want to really come back here again. Hi. Hello. Last year, Yuko was under a lot of pressure. Are you happy here? No. <laughs> Homesick? You just feel lonely in this process being so far away from home, working through the ups and downs and challenges of getting her visa. She was under the pressure of our training camp, so she always seemed to be in tears, but she's one of us and she's represented us well and she will continue to be stronger. That's what I want for her. We just wanted to visit and see how you feel before we get into audition season. Uh, oh, this year was amazing because my dream come true. Now I feel so much better. You do feel better? Mm hmm Good. After our calendar shoot, the girls discovered this new Yuko, and I roomed Kashira with Yuko because I thought, if anybody's gonna just be surrounded by friends and laughter, it's Kashira, and I wanted Yuko to kind of be in that mix. What's up? We were just talking with Yuko. She seems to be a lot more comfortable. At first, I was kind of nervous. I'm like, you got the two biggest accents. <laughs> <laughs> Just we talk a lot about like Japanese culture. I've never been overseas. We watch Japanese pop TV. Oh, oh you gosh. did? Oh gosh, those game shows were really scary. Had a clue what was saying, but she was laughing, so I just laughed with her. Because Shara probably could have had a roommate that she was more familiar with. I think she honestly made a difference in Yuko's whole experiences here. And I really appreciate it. She was always like, hey, come on, Yuko. That's made me better as a DCC, as a person. You definitely seem happier. Forming friendships, bettering yourself, and finding your confidence. That's what we're all about. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh -huh. Some of my favorite veteran solos started with Yuko. She seems to be an audition favorite. Start me up and turn me makes people smile. Hello, my name is Yoshiko Danjo. I was a Dallaska voice cheerleader in 2006. I learned a lot from DCC. I have been directing two professional cheerleading squad in Japan. DCC Yuko was a member of both teams for three years. Because I knew her dream to be a DCC. Let's go to our Fox 365 day calendar. 
We were so excited to see the cover. Alexis, Molly, Yuko, and I made so many memories doing a group shot. So for one of those memories to be captured and put on the cover of a calendar was a total shock, but something that we'll remember forever. It's been just a couple of days since we announced the final team of 36, and now something's come up. Yuko has been in a small car accident. She has a concussion, and Janelle is filling in in uniform in the final hour. Hi, everyone. I decided I'm not going to try out for next year. Thank you for being awesome friends and awesome sister, and thank you for being awesome mom. <laughs> Yuko, would you go back home and when would you go? I will go home in July. What about your cat and your boyfriend? My cat is American. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me and a boyfriend is planning to get married. Yeah.